Kia ora class. Today we're going to be talking about the different joints in the human body and joint movements. Our learning intention for today is to describe the purpose of joints and identify the associated movements of various joints. So, what is a joint? A synovial joint to be specific. A joint is anywhere where two or more bones meet in the human body. So it could be two parts of your arm, two parts of your head, two parts, wherever two bones come together, that place is called a joint. Different joints allow different types of movement, and some joints actually allow no movement. The joints that allow the most movement are called synovial joints, and they're the ones that we're interested in in PE, because PE is about movement. So, the two types of synovial joints that we're going to be talking about today are, first, a hinge joint. I've got a picture of a hinge there. Hinge joint looks like this. This is an example. The elbow is a hinge joint. Okay, It's called a hinge joint because it opens and closes just like a hinge. Those are the movements it does. It opens and closes. And we'll talk about the specific names for those movements in just a second. The other type of joint that we're looking at in the picture there is a ball and socket. This is a camera gimbal, but it's the same structure. It's a ball part, so sort of rounded, and it sits in a nice tight socket. Okay and that allows the ball to sort of move around in all sorts of directions a little bit of rotation around and moves around it's got a lot of motion okay ball and socket joint just like your hip and your shoulder those are the structures of those joints now the types of movement that can happen at these joints one type of movement is what we call flexion and this is bringing the bones of a joint closer together here we have an example this is elbow flexion. So at the elbow, the forearm is moving closer to the upper arm. It's bringing those bones together, decreasing the angle. Therefore, we know it's flexion. The opposite of flexion is called extension. Okay. So this is when the bones are drawn apart. They're pulled apart by the muscles, and the angle at that joint is increasing. We can see here an example of extension at the elbow. Okay. The forearm and the upper arm are starting close together and they are extending out. The angle at that joint is increasing. Some more joint movements. Adduction. Adduction is when we bring a limb, so it could be your arm or your leg, closer to the midline of the body. The midline is an imaginary line that runs straight down our middle. Okay? And adduction is adding to, it's adding that limb to the midline of the body. Here's an example. So the arm starts quite far away, and it is added into the midline of the body. It is now closer to the midline of the body after that movement. The opposite of adduction is abduction, like aliens. If you abduct something, you take it away. So this is the opposite, bringing a limb away from the midline of the body. It starts closer to the midline, and then it is pulled away by your muscles. We can see here, it's close by the side, and it's pulled away, far away. The last two movements we're going to talk about are specific to the ankle joint. Okay, The ankle joint is a hinge joint. One movement is called plantar flexion, and this is when our muscles pull the toe of our ankle down, as per this example here, ignore the disgusting hairy leg. So you can see that the uh, foot is starting sort of perpendicular at 90 degrees to the leg, and then the toe is being pulled down. That is called plantar flexion. The opposite of plantar flexion is dorsiflexion. It's kind of like creating a dorsal fin, the fin on a dolphin or a whale that points up. Okay, And this is pulling the toe up. So again, the foot starts at 90 degrees in a, a neutral position, and then dorsiflexion is pulling that toe up towards the front of your shin. Okay, Plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. In summary, the two types of joint we've talked about are the hinge joint, which opens and closes, it flexes and extends, and the ball and socket joint, which can flex, extend, abduct and adduct as well. Um, and the movements that we've talked about are flexion and extension, adduction and abduction, and the two movements specific to the ankle, plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. That's us for today. Hope you enjoyed.